Hi guys, JP from FSI Panel. Welcome to this video. Today we will see how to fly quick approaches using the beautiful newly released Avro RJ from Just Flight. This is the RJ Professional on MSFS 2020 and we are going to use FSI Panel 2020 Standard Edition. I used to fly that aircraft uh, in 2003 for Swiss, previously Crosser, and it's a beautiful aircraft to fly, very easy once you know how to operate it. All right, so I will show you all the steps required to be on final within a couple of seconds. Before I forget, please subscribe to the channel and let's see together what you need to do to be airborne within a few seconds. All right, first thing to do as always with FSI panel is to select the correct aircraft. So I have selected here the Avro RJ100 with the uh, Swiss livery. And today let's try some approaches in Manchester and we are going to fly on runway 23 right. So basically that's what you have to do, select the time of the day, the aircraft and the weather. We are going to use live weather and let's go, let's go for in, during the day and fly. And I see you when the simulator is ready. All right, the simulator is ready, so I will click on ready to fly and here we are in our cockpit. As you can see, we have a wrong QNH. We don't have anything set on our cockpit. It's basically just the uh, default panel states, engines running, as always, make sure you have your engines running. When you fly with FSI panel, make sure you have the IRS align. That's the case, and if we look from outside, we can see that our aircraft is in fact sitting on 2-3 left. That's not a big issue, we just need to be at the correct airport. So I'm going to select 2-3 right, as there is an ILS, and we will see how long we need to be on final. All right, so I'm here on my cockpit. I haven't set anything, my FMS is not initialized. And let's start FSI panel and program an ILS 2-3 right in Manchester. Here we go, FSI panel has started. The first thing you want to check is that you are the correct airport. That's correct, it's Manchester. The marginal VFR is the actual weather condition. If you want to check the actual meta, you just click on the runway. And now here you have your latest meta for the airport. As you can see, 2-3 uh, left doesn't have any ILS, so we are going to select 2-3 right. So now we know that we can be on the ILS approach. And we are going to use today a very simple demonstration, only the quick position. We can fly from star, we can create pilot waypoint, you can do a lot of things with FSI panel. But today I'm just going to show you a long final. So we are going to be aligned on the ILS 23 right at 8 nautical miles and we should be at 2,600 feet. We are planning a flaps 3-3 landing, if you want to change that to flaps 2-4, just click flaps 2-4 and now we are going to try a flaps 2-4, just for the demonstration. Then, once you're ready, you just need to click move aircraft. And remember that after we click move aircraft, we have to watch what the FSI panel is doing and do not interfere with the cockpit setup. This is very important. Okay, so we are ready to go. Let's click move aircraft and see what happens in our cockpit. Let's go in the sim and let's see what happened. So we want to go on 8 miles final. So you can see that the flaps are moving now to flaps 30, 24. 2600 is the altitude. And now FSI panel is basically setting the autopilot mode. And it will set the whole cockpit. The altitude should reach 2600. And you will see that FSI panel will now start to work on the FMC. So on the FMC, FSI panel will insert the approach, only ILS approaches if available. So this is normal if you uh, select an airport and there is no ILS, nothing will be set in the box. But if there is an ILS, as you can see right now, everything will be set for you. You will have as well the weight initialized there. You can see now the zero fuel weight inserted. We're going to have a standard uh, final reserve and the cruising altitude received 2,600 feet. If we look into our TRP, we're gonna have the correct figures. And basically, once the aircraft reach 2,600, which is the altitude we have in the uh, uh, altitude window, then FSI panel will give us the control. So you get the aircraft ready, hold your brake for three seconds to take control, the aircraft is ready. All right, so let me show you what FSI panel has done. And as you've seen, it took only a couple of seconds and we are ready to fly. So let's have a look at what happened. We have the correct nav setting. 
correct course, correct nav setting on both sides. The autopilot is engaged with the autothrottle with the correct approach speed. We are going to check that in a minute. Altitude is 2600 and we have the uh, localizer course right there. We have the lights set and we can have a look now into our TRP. We are in norm and we are landing with flaps 24. So we should have 143 and 193 set. So FSI panel has done this. On the FMC, we have the routes Manchester to Manchester FSI 001 with the correct approach. And basically, everything has been set for us to fly this approach. Hydraulic panel, everything is set as it should be for this approach. And the only thing you might have to consider is if you don't want to fly with the APU, then you could switch the engine air on and turn off the uh, APU air and turn off the APU. But usually we land with the APU air on, so this is exactly the configuration we have right now. So I'm ready to fly the approach. So the only thing I have to do now is to hold the brake for three seconds. One, two, and three. And as you can see, I have control. Now I can arm the approach. And we have lock star, and we are going to have the glide slope very soon. And we can do the landing in Manchester. And then I will show you the after landing flow. So I will move forward the video and I see you uh, for the landing. All right, we are back together, 800 feet. And what I wanted to tell you before is that the VREF is basically 143 plus five knots, 148. That has been set by FSI panel. So we are ready to land. We have the gear on, flaps 24, cabin is secured. And we are doing a flaps 24. I extended the uh, air brake. So now what we want to do is avoid floating, but here for the demonstration and in order for you to see the uh, landing report, I uh, will do quite a long landing just to uh, demonstrate that. So autopilot comes off, auto throttle comes off. And now we are going to go a little bit higher just for the demonstration. And you will see that the reports will tell us that we're, we were a little bit long. So we're aiming for the end of the touchdown zone by floating too much. Here, on purpose, I'm going long. And we are going for the end, yeah. right there. So it's going to be a long landing, slightly left of center line. And here we go. And braking. And we are just going to stop on the runway. And I will show you the landing report. And then we will see the after landing flow that you can use on FSI panel. All right, so let's vacate right there and set the parking brake and have a look at our landing report. Here we go. I will just stop here. And let's put the brake. Brake set. Let's bring FSI panel and have a look at the report. So landing report, what did we have? Long landing as expected, 937 meters. Otherwise we're on center line, positive landing. We can see the weather condition right there. And we can see a flaps 24 tow brake is not applicable on this aircraft. I disconnected the autopilot at 420 feet and I was stable. I crossed the threshold at 74 feet. Ideally, you should be at 50 feet. So on purpose, as I told you, I wanted to do a long landing. So this is why we are a little bit high here. Otherwise, we can see that we were stabilized on the speed and not too bad on the localizer and glide slope. Good. So this is the landing report. You can save it by clicking here. And that's about it. So let me just quickly talk about the option on this aircraft. If you go to setup and you go to other aircraft, you will find the Just Flight Avro RJ. And this is your default landing flaps. You can select 33 or 24. This is what FSI panel will set by default. Uh, remember that you can change that on every approaches simply by clicking on the profile as I did on my first approach. The after landing flow, if you want to have it ready, and if you want FSI panel to program the FMC, just make sure it's stick. By default, this is exactly what you will see. All right, let's go back in the aircraft, and I will show you now the after landing flow. So we just landed, and 
my flaps are extended, my speed my air brake is extended, I have the weather radar on and the lights are still on and as you can see I called my menu and I can see after landing flow. So if I click on after landing flow, let's see what happens. Now we can see air brake retracted, flaps up, taxi lights are set, the uh, beacon light, the strobe light has been turned off and basically FSI panel is doing everything you need to do as per the uh, FCOM uh, for your after landing. So you can see standby as well there on the radar radar. And now it's easy for you just to taxi your airplane to the gate. And then at the gate, you can bring the shutdown checklist provided you have advanced edition, you will have all the flows. All right, let's try another approach. We are still sitting on ground here. And as you can see, I will not touch anything. And we are going to try this time another uh, position. We are going to try a vectors for the ILS runway 23 right. So we're expecting a 30 degrees intercept uh, to shoot the same approach. So let me show you how you can do that. So back in FSI panel, I still have the correct airport, the correct runway. And let's say I would like a left hand vectors for the ILS runway 23 right. This time we're going to try a flaps 33. Before I told you, you can change flaps 24, flaps 33. So let's try flaps 33. And this time we are going to be on a vectors. So for that FSI panel, we'll set your aircraft to flaps 18 and the speed around 180 or 190 knots. And you will be on a 30 degrees intercept for this ILS. So let's give it a shot. Move aircraft, go back in the cockpit. What we are seeing now is the heading and the altitude and the flaps moving to flaps 18. Once this is ready, the aircraft will go in the air and then you will see what FSI panel is doing. And as always, do not interfere with the setup. So FSI panel right now is waiting for the flaps to be at 1.8. And then we go gear up because now we are in a gear up configuration. Flaps 1.8, heading is 262 and we are going down to 2,600 feet. FMC will be programmed again should you select another uh, runway, then everything will be set again on your uh, on your uh, FMS, sorry. And for the flaps, we have flaps 3.3 this time before we had flaps 24. So as you can see now, the uh, FMS is set. Very straightforward with the ILS runway 2.3 right. So arrival, 2.3 right. And then the speed will be set, just in case, not the speed, the uh, weight will be set on your FMC. The reserve will be 2.5 and the cruise altitude is 2,600 feet. And once this is done, then FSI panel is waiting for the altitude to reach 2,600. You can see that we are almost there. We have altitude acquired. And then, of course, we are going to get the control. Aircraft ready, all your brake for three seconds to take control. So now basically we are on a in, on the intercept heading, as you can see, 180 knots, 262 for a course of 232. And we have the uh, approach right there. Everything is set properly for us. We have the gear up. So we can go ahead and fly this approach. So again, all the brake, one, two, three seconds. I'm getting the control and the only thing I have to do arm um, the approach as the ILS has been set and we can practice a second landing within a couple of seconds as easy as that. All right guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and if you have any question or comment please drop it in the section down below. I'll be very happy to answer any questions about uh, this aircraft and uh, I see you very soon for another uh, tutorial or training video. Thank you for watching and please subscribe to the channel. Thank you guys. Enjoy your landings with the beautiful Avro RJ Professional. Very well, very well done. Very nice aircraft. Thank you. Bye-bye. See you next time.